Finally, the deputy president has accepted the reality and he is ready to move on strategically without leaving or resigning from President Uhuru Kenyatta's government. Now, before we go on, if you are new on this platform, I'm kindly requesting you to subscribe to this channel and you will get all our videos that we have analyzed. And thank you for people who have really subscribed to this channel. And on this platform, we mainly discuss politics. Now, back to our topic. Ruto, from URP to Jubilee, and now working on Jubilee Asili Center, as we saw yesterday. It is in yellow, black, and white colors. No more red. Politics is funny nowadays, surely. Now, Ruto is aware that Kalonzo Isaac Ruto, Yule Wachama Chamashinani, and Gideon Moi are not ready to work with him. ODM2 is not keen to work with him. The only option that the deputy president might be having is to work with Musalia Mudavadi in ANC for the Kenya combined. But still, Musalia Mudavadi is like he is not going for anything less than presidency. If you check his move and the activities at Musalia Mudavadi Center. So Ruto might be pushed to form a coalition with Musalia Mudavadi Watangula then back Musalia Mudavadi for presidency in 2022 due to these scenarios. Because he is not sure that he is going to win the 2022 election, in my view. But if you are careful, you will realize that still there is also a doubt in Raila Uhuru Park. Bringing Kalonzo Msioka, Gideon Moy, and CCM Ileya Ruto Waya Mashinani to Jubilee Coalition can be a scheme to betray ODM. Uhuru might be scheming to make the next government with Gideon Moy, Kalonzo Msioko, and Isaac Ruto, in my view. So if this can happen, then ODM can be forced to go into a coalition with William Samway Ruto. You can see. And if Raila Ruto make a coalition, Uhuru can move to endorse Musalia Mudavad in this scenario if things can go that way, which can be a direct win since all lawyers will back and they will be behind Musalia Mudavad. Then the force that Uhuru will bring in and the other people like Kalonzo. So you might find that eh, Mudavad might be seen as not a big threat but he might be he might be having a big role to play in 2022 election because he is the only politician who has really tried to stand up he is not in a hurry to rush into this government coalition like uh, like uh, Kalonzo is doing like what Gideon is doing and what Sisi Chama Chamashinani is doing currently. He's the only person who is trying to prepare his ANC for presidency. So they might dismiss him, but you will find him playing a big role in 2022 because currently no one can calculate Mudavadi. He might be on the course to be on ballot. So thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe and leave us with a comment, share our videos in other platforms, and see you in the next video.